seated position, letting your eyes close, let your arms drop by your side, and begin focusing on just the sound of your breathing. See if you can slow everything down, so all the thoughts that might be running around your head, see if you can tune out. Making sure that you're relaxing the muscles around your face, like your jaw and around your eyes. And like a radio station, see if you can just tune out of all the endless thinking that you've probably been doing all day and seeing if you can just focus on the sound of your inhales and your exhales, maybe making them a bit longer. Gently opening your eyes, taking a soft focus in front of you, seeing if you can maintain all the calm that you've just come to. And as usual, we're going to do a few rounds of inhaling up with the arms and exhaling, bringing them down. So inhaling up, lifting up, and exhale, bring it down. Again, inhale, up, reach up, exhale. Now, and just keep this one going at your own pace. You might want to go slower or faster. Just try and keep it at the speed that your inhales and your exhales naturally fall. your hands and knees for some cat cow so your wrists directly underneath the shoulders 
and with your next inhale, we're gonna arc the spine and look up. And exhale, round, press down, set the belly button in, tuck the chin. And again, inhale, look up. Exhaling, round, tuck, suck your belly in, pressing up. And again, you can keep this one going at your own speed. So at the end speed of your inhales and exhales, maybe lingering in one bit, it feels nice.
next inhale looking forwards step or hop forwards inhale straight back exhale folding down again you can bend your knees inhale sweep up Ooh, look up exhale back standing let's do it again so inhale up look up exhale folding down inhale straight back look up Exhale, hands down, step or hop back to plank, lowering down slowly, point the toes, inhale, peel up, tuck the toes, press back to either child's pose or downward facing dog. Inhale, looking forwards, step or hop forwards, inhale straight back, exhale folding down, inhale up, look up, exhale back to seven, let's do it again, inhale up, look up, exhale folding down, inhale straight back, look up, exhale hands down, step or hop back to plank, lowering down slowly, squeeze the elbows in, point the toes, inhale peel up, the toes, exhale back, downward dog, or child's pose. See if you can keep your breathing really long and calm. Lowering down, 
Point the toes, inhale, curl up. Tuck the toes, come up onto your knees. Bring the right foot forwards. Inhale up, look up. Exhale down, right foot back. Left foot forwards. Inhale up. And exhale down. Left foot back, child's pose or downward facing dog. So lifting the back knee, keeping the left hand where it is, lift up the right and take a twist while looking up to the right hand. And then bring the hand back down, coming up onto your fingertips or using blocks if you know it's going to be tricky, seeing if you can straighten that front leg as best as you can. And remember to breathe. And then bending the front knee. Coming finally up to the lunge. Looking up. Exhale, hands down. Take the right foot back. This time left foot forwards. So keeping the right hand where it is, this time we're lifting the left hand, looking up. And left hand comes down, coming onto fingertips or if you need to, blocks. Slowly seeing if you can maybe straighten that front leg. And we're bending the left knee, coming up finally to the lunge. And exhale down, left foot back, either down the dog, or you can drop the knees and hang out in child's pose. Slow it down. 
See if you can keep them both the same length. Abdominals, 
slowly rising up. Inhaling, opening out the arms again. Exhale, interlace the fingers behind your back and fold forwards, taking the fist as far as possible towards the back wall and then lift them a bit around to the one. Two, 
And one, take it down, shake the legs out. I have no concept of time because the clock at the back has stopped. Okay, let's go out to the floor. So inhale, sweep up, look up. Exhale, folding down. Inhale, straight back, look up. Exhale, hands down, step or hop back to plank. Lowering down, point the toes. Inhale, peel up, touch the toes. Press back to downward facing dog. And now we're gonna step through to seated. So right leg, right foot comes to your left hand. Left foot to your right hand. You see if you can wangle your way through. Taking a few breaths here and just in a simple straight legged seated position. Seeing if you can slow down your breathing if it's sped up. Hmm. This is an ungraded pose. And when you're ready, taking your right leg, whichever leg, you can take whatever leg you want. It doesn't really, doesn't really matter which leg you do first. Taking it in as far as you can, sitting tall, and then folding forwards. You're more than welcome to use your strap if you want to use your strap. Or you can just stay wherever you are. the same thing but both legs straight so it's up to you whether or not you stay here or it can be nice to bend the knees and take your feet and then to work down that way that can be nice um, to keep your back straight it's up to you but you just make your way down and find a point that feels like a stretch but not too intense and then stay there making your way to crossing at the front of your mat, ready to try and jump back. So hugging your knees into your chest, taking your hands forward of your hips, take a breath. And on your next inhale, see if you can lift up your bum, maybe you scoot back, maybe you're able to jump all the way back through. Exhale, coming down, point your toes, inhale, peel up. Tucking the toes, pressing back to downward facing dog, and we get to step through all over again. So, right foot, left hand, left foot, right hand, maybe we can make through. Make through? That's not a good sentence. Okay, I have no concept of time, <laughs> so here we are. So, taking your blocks, I realize that I didn't get myself any blocks, so I don't, I don't get blocks, but that's fine. So, taking the two blocks either side of you, 
Either side of your hips. I have to do the no block phrase. <laughs> so avoid the temptation to grip the blocks. Um, try and keep your hands flat on them. We're going to practice lifting up. If your feet don't lift, that's fine. Or if your feet do lift, then they go back down the floor. That's also fine. So it's just a case of trying to contract this whole area so that you so that this kind of thing happens. Maybe the whole thing lifts up. Maybe it doesn't. Um, we're just going to lift up. We're not even going to lift up and stay. We're just going to come up, come down, take a breath, and then we see if we can do it again. We're not going to come up and see if we can hold. So it's not going to be more too intense. But try and have it quite close to your hips and in front, almost, almost at your feet level, where the blocks are. Okay, so take a breath. So start off with your feet up. That's a good point. So start off with your feet up. Even if your feet go straight back down again, that's fine. Just inhale. And then on your next inhale, see if you can lift up. So you come down. Take a breath. You can come down. You just want the child just off. You're like, oh, I just love it up here. Okay, on your next breath. Inhale. See if you can come up. And then come down. Let's do... Oh, we have to do two more now because we have to cross feet the other way. So I forgot to say we have to cross feet the other way. You're like, ah. Okay. Okay, let's inhale. Seeing if you can lift up and then come down. One more. Take a breath. Seeing if you can lift up and then come down. Okay, now let's do this one so you can get rid of the box. Let's do this one to open up. They get progressively harder as you're, as you're lifting up. The first one's like, you have to lift, and then by the last one, it's like, no, it's like you burn out. Can you supposed to have your legs in front of you then? Yeah, instead of what? Like underneath. Oh, what, like that? Kind of that. That's <laughs> harder. <laughs> so <laughs> you can try it. I'm get this in. Maybe because my phone's oh, I find it harder. Maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe you find it easier. Like, yeah, I find that one. Because that is the jump back. Ideally, you're not supposed, okay. your feet aren't supposed to touch. Yeah, right. On okay. the jump back. Okay. That's good for you. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's good that you're good at it. <laughs> So in this one we're working on, oh, I can go So we're working to draw the hips down. Whether or not you fall forward is up to you. And then eventually I got it with that. So 
Brooksy, you can work your way down. I guess I just be scared that the books were going to like slide. Yeah, yeah, Brooksy, they're coming a bit sketchy. It's yeah. a sketchy <laughs> books, it's true. Um, what are we doing now? So we're going to do one more core pose. So it's everyone's favourite boat pose. So coming with your knees up, hands under your knees. Easier, very, actually let's use the blocks. Let's use blocks, sorry, sorry. Second. Mm -hmm. No, 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 she yeah. used the past one. I thought you wanted one. No. I want to do the legs thing. No, no, no. Oh, do you want to? No, no, no. You want the legs thing. Okay. So take your blocks either side of your hips, quite close, but forward, not next to your hips, but more like here. Okay. Now keep them there. And forget about them. And come back to boat pose. So this is variation number one, which you're more than welcome to stay. Number two. And the hardest, which is quite challenging, is that you try and straighten, but you can stay here. Same here, four, five, really try and lift. Four, three, two, one. Okay, now crossing the hands, taking your hands on your blocks. Seeing if you can possibly lift everything on an inhale. Coming back down, and then coming back. Four, five, four, three, two, one. One, cross the feet again, hands on your blocks, inhale, see if you can lift everything, coming back down, last one, five, four, three, two, one, now crossing the feet, do any kind of jump back that you want to, so you can do a jump back with the blocks, or you can just, if you're feeling lazy, you can just roll back onto plank and then onto your front and just stay here for a few breaths and tuck your toes, let your arms go by your side. Maybe rocking a bit if that feels nice. Ready? Reaching forward, pressing up into downward facing dog and coming forward into plank and then lowering down onto yourself, letting your arms go back. Not forwards. Okay. Letting your arms go back. So pointing your toes and placing your big toes together, looking forward. On your next inhale, seeing if you can lift up your torso, if possible, reaching your feet back, seeing if you can lift them up as well, reaching as high as you can, especially with the legs, for five, four, three, two, one. Okay, coming down, take a breath. Now we're gonna do it one more time, but just changing the placement of the hands. So just taking your hands next to you. You can hover them if you want to. I don't find it that useful, but you can, you can play around with it if you want to. So looking forward, big toes together, inhaling up your front end, and then your back end, 
reaching, staying long, so you can lift your legs higher for five, four, three, two, and one. Turn down. Taking a breath. And when you're ready, tucking your toes and pressing up and back to downward facing dog. And we're going to step through again to seated. So right foot, left hand, left foot, right hand, maybe somehow. Oh, I haven't got through. So now we're taking the legs wide. So it's up to you. You probably have very long. You can do this like this. Okay. Touch the, what? Touch the heels. Oh, <laughs> so the closer you have the legs, it's easier. So if you know you can't fall very far, then you can keep them closer. Otherwise, take it wider. Try and keep the feet pointing directly up. And then sit tall. And on your next exhale, folding as much as you can. You can bend your knees if that feels comfier. It's up to you. to the right foot. Maybe reaching the left arm over the head, if that feels nice. And then walking over to the left. Maybe reaching the right arm over the head. And walking back to centre and slowly, slowly peeling yourself back up. And bringing the legs together, coming to lie down. Put all in your mat. We're going to do the thing where we do a core exercise and then we do the stretching bit to earn the stretch. <laughs> so lifting up the right leg. If it doesn't want to go straight, you can have a little bend so that you can get it up. And then reaching your arms either side of the leg. See if you can hover the left leg off of the floor, keeping it straight, flexing it. Then on your next inhale, reach up as high as you can, ideally getting the shoulder blades up. Really pulling yourself up as high as you can for five, four, three, see if you can reach higher, two, and one. Take everything down except the leg. And now we're going to work on bringing the leg towards us. So you can use your hands, you can use a strap, um, just to work the leg a bit closer towards you. You can have it bent as well if it's more take the leg out to the right while looking to the left. So keeping the left hip on the floor. So this hip, making sure it stays down. In fact, 
whole of your left side stays down. And your next inhale, reach it back up to center. And exhale, let it float down. And picking up the left leg. Ready to do the core exercise again. So picking up the left leg, maybe bend, maybe straight. Reaching your arms forward either side of the leg. See if you can hover the right leg up and peel yourself up as high as you can. Staying here for five, four, three, two, and one. Coming down. Now taking the leg and working it a bit closer to you. Taking the leg out to your left. Let's go up. Looking to your right, keeping the right hip down on the ground. Right hip down on the ground. And on your next inhale, bringing it back to center. And slowly letting it float back down to the mat. So now we're going to come up into shoulder stand. So as always, if you don't like shoulder stand, you can stay here. If you prefer to stay here, that's fine. Otherwise, we're rocking up the sitting bones and taking your hands on your lower back. So make sure we're pointing straight up to start with. So really use your core to be straight up. So having your hands out by your side, your legs out. On your next inhale, 
See if you can pick up essentially everything but your back. So both legs, both arms and your head. See if you can pick everything up. And then go down. Let's do it two more times. So inhale up, everything. Squeeze and come down. One more time. Inhale up, everything. Squeeze, really. And now release into Shavasana. Letting your feet flop out and your arms flop out if you've got, you've got eye bags, if you want to use the eye bags. And just releasing everything into the mat. Feeling like you're melting into the ground if you were holding on to anything. Maybe in your head, maybe not in your head. Seeing if you can let it go. Making sure the muscles of your face are relaxed. And you just feel a sense of relaxation across your whole body. Sending some flickers of energy back into your body. Maybe you give your fingertips and your toes a bit of a wiggle. Maybe reaching your arms up overhead, taking a long stretch. Maybe reaching your knees into your chest, giving yourself a bit of a hug, rocking from one side to the other side. Slowly coming down onto one side and making your way up to seated. Namaste. Thank you very much. Thank you.